Okay, so let us look at another important use of algebra in solving a word problem. Now, here the problem is very simple. It says the sum of three consecutive multiples of 11, okay, I, the problem forgot, of 11 is 363. Find these numbers. So we have, we are just given a simple statement. Three consecutive multiples of 11 is 363. Now, you might think that there are three unknowns, right? And how are we going to solve this? So let us look at what do we mean by multiples of 11? And if you remember, if we try to plot the multiples of 11 on a number line, it looks like, let us say that we have zero, then we have 11 times one is 11, 11 times two is 22, 11 times three is 33, and so on. Now, what we are told is that the sum of three consecutive multiples, we don't know which multiple it is, of 11 is 363. So we have to make an assumption. So we will say, let us say that one of those three multiples is x. Now, if you look at this, we know that the difference between first and the second multiple is 11 because it's a multiple of 11. And that is what we have to use here. So we are told three consecutive multiples, which means x. Therefore, the next multiple will be x plus 11. And if I extend this, the third one will be x plus 22, right? Uh, adding 11 more to this number over here. So we already got three multiples and this simplifies our forming the algebraic equation. So we are given that x plus, so that is the first multiple, then x plus 11 is the second multiple and x plus 22 is the third multiple that equals to 363. Now if we solve this, so we have x plus x plus x that gives us 3x and 11 plus 22 gives us 33 equals 363. Now this gives us the algebraic equation and we can proceed to solve this further. So let us go to the next page. So we have 3x plus 33 equals 363. So if we solve this, first thing we would do is to transpose this 33 from the left hand side to the right hand side and change its sign due to the transposition. So we have 36 minus 33. Or we would have 3x equals 330. Now all we need to do is simply multiply both the sides by 1 by 3 that is 3x by 3 equals 330 by 3 this 3 gets cancelled out and 3 times 110 is 330 so we have x equals 110 so we got our first multiple now the second multiple is x plus 11 so that equals 2 110 plus 11 which is 121 and the third multiple is x plus 22 or the third number here so that is 110 plus 22 so this gives you 132 okay now let us verify that the sum of these three is actually equal to 363 or not so let us add 110 plus 121 plus 132. So if I just add 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is, uh, 0 is 3, then we have 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6, and 1, 1 and 1, 363. Therefore, these are the three consecutive multiples. So this was an interesting application of a problem that initially looked like we had lot many unknowns, but if we apply the information carefully, we can come up with a simpler problem and can arrive at the solution pretty quickly. So in the next video, we will discuss another interesting application of using algebra to solve word problems.